Oh. 
the man of the hour, the guy everyone wants to see. Let's turn up the volume and shake the place for the one, the only, MP.
thing.
Checkerboard. Come on and claim your spot, Team MP. Welcome, Checkerboard.
Lock down. Come put the clamps on somebody. MP needs you. You ready? There we go. Already started the Already. Wow.
Coach Tucker showed me some photos of the gym you and your manager set up. Yeah, I wanted to work on my game 24-7. Something wrong with our training facility? It doesn't have any candy in the vending machines. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to make sure I didn't have any excuses. You know how it is. I do. Yeah. And that work ethic of yours is something we all love about you. Thank you. You're going to fit our culture like a glove. Well, I'm excited to be here. I feel like uh, this is a perfect place to start my career. Fantastic. Well, then why don't we talk about our goals for the season then? As a former player, I understand how important it is for an organization to clearly communicate its expectations. And I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page to start the season. Let's do it. We're looking to make the plan, because once you're in the dance, anything can happen. But we would consider this season a success if we took our first step to respectability. Okay. If you have something to say, MP, now would be the time. Uh, setting your sights low like that, I don't know. It just, it doesn't sit right with me. And no offense, Cliff, but that's a loser's mentality. I understand where you're coming from. And no one should be satisfied with losing. I hate losing. It makes me sick. I get nauseous, headaches, you name it. But it's my job as the general manager to honestly evaluate this roster. And if I compare it to the rest of the league, it wouldn't be fair for me to say we have failed if we didn't win a championship. I see what you mean. But if we don't win a championship, I'm the one that's going to be sick. I love that about you. It surprised us and pushed us towards contention faster than I thought. Speaking of, we need to set your personal goals for the first half of the season. Coach Tucker is going to walk us through it. We've got some strong opinions on what you should focus on, but we'd like to get your input too. Okay. This is a collaboration. That's great because I have been visualizing exactly how I want my career to be. Visualizing. Yeah. Huh. You know, like meditation and manifestation, mm -hmm. that sort of thing? Well, why don't you manifest some opinions on this list of potential goals for the first half of the season? Mm -hmm. well, let me know if anything speaks to you. You want me to just pick one? There's a lot to work on at this level, always. And you'll do a little bit of everything, but we find that giving our players a list of uh, specific goals to work on for the first half of the season is the mm -hmm. best way to drive development. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm with it. It also allows us to give you some milestones to track your progress. We'll even highlight on our schedule some key games to use as measuring sticks. Ah, uh, that's that communication that you were talking about. Exactly. Yeah. Go ahead. Pick a goal.
Mm. Let's see which one. Look, I'm not trying to be in the lottery. We gotta protect home court. It's the first step to respectability. You win games at home, you got a solid foundation to build on. And the fans need more too. Should certainly help with the booing. My wife stopped coming to games. Yeah. So I'll make sure that the guys show up and we put on a show tonight at home, all right? We don't need showboating. We need to defend, rebound, and make shots. Don't worry, coach. I got you. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Wish being a GM was always this easy. <laughs> oh, uh, one more thing. Yep. I got media day coming up. Oh, I love media day. It's always been fun for me as a fan, so this will be cool. Our PR director, Donna Chase, she's going to walk you through everything. She's great. Right. You're going to love her. Brian, anything you want to add? Just keep working. Yeah, we'll talk more about your spot in the rotation as we get closer to the season opener. All right. Appreciate your time. Look forward to building something special here. So do we. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. MP, I'm Donna. Nice to meet you. So nice to meet you, Donna. My manager tells me you're one of the best PR people in pro sports. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure Mr. Wells had the requisite experience to make that call, but I'm glad he thinks highly of me. Shall we talk media today? Yeah, let's do it. Now, this is all pretty standard fare, and I know Mr. Wells signed you up for media training over the summer, so there shouldn't be anything you can't handle. You can call him Patrick. We're not that formal with each other. If that's your preference. It is. Wonderful. We've also secured you an interview with 2K Tip-Off Magazine. If all goes well, you will be the cover athlete for their upcoming issue. Wow, that sounds fun. It is important to note that this interview will not be conducted by our in-house content team, which means anything you say can be published, especially if it's sensational or controversial in any way. It's noted. I'm gonna be upfront with you, MP. I'm a team employee, first and foremost. And it's my job to make sure this team is seen in the best light possible. You make the team look good, We'll be on great terms. You make the team look bad, and we will have a problem. But I have no reason to doubt your character. By all accounts, you're a responsible, smart, considerate young man. And it's because I respect you that I want to put my cards on the table. Thank you. Are we clear? Crystal clear, Miss Chase. Please, call me Donna. Now, whenever you're ready, you can take that elevator to the practice facility and start your interview. Woo! I think it's time to do some laundry. That outfit smells foul. Time to talk rotation. Ah, great. I've been looking forward to this. Every NBA player wants to start someday, and I'm sure you're no different. I've never come off the bench a day in my life, coach. That's pretty much the case for every player in an NBA locker room. Until they get to the league. Right. Of course. There's no nice way to say this, so I'm gonna put it bluntly. You've got an established player in front of you. You want his spot, you're gonna have to take it from him. Okay. Yes, that makes up? sense. This team is a meritocracy. You get the minutes you earn. Nothing's given. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what your draft position is or how much you're getting paid. You get it done out there on the court, we'll put you in the starting line. So just so I'm clear, how do you how do you make that decision? Like, will you let me know when I've done enough to become a starter? Yeah, we've got some milestones we want to see you hit. You hit them, we'll put you in the starting lineup.
This is all pretty straightforward. Like Cliff said, communication is a big part of what we do here as a ball club. I can see that, and it's much appreciated, Coach. Good. Now get ready. It's almost game time. All right. I'll see you later, Coach. See you. Get ready to light it up. Yo. It's hard to go coach. Any surprises? What do you say? Yeah, not really. If I want to be a starter, then I got to outplay the guy ahead of me. Simple as that. Yeah. yeah that seems fair. It's yeah, sports. It is what it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, not to bring any extra motivation or anything like that, but uh, you know only starters get endorsement deals, right? I already know. You know, dudes on the bench ain't getting no shoe deal. They're not. Not right now. But that day will come. Okay. Right now, let's just take this in. We in the league. Yeah. I mean, you ever visualize something like this? You know, P, man, I never really thought about what the tunnel looks like, man. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the tunnel. I'm talking about right here. You and me, you're getting ready to play in your first NBA game. Honestly, no. You know, nothing prepares you for this, man. No matter how many high-pressure situations that you face, 
just, this is different, man. And what about that open run? I got your invitation too. You know, things got a little heated between you, you know who, yeah? Well, yeah, that was dope, but we didn't have 20,000 people watching this, man. That's true. That's yeah, true. it's a little different. It's different. All right, then. it's different. Hey, hey. It's different. Yeah. All right, look, though, I ain't gonna hold you up. I know you gotta go win that game. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, so, uh, make Plainview proud, yeah? You already know what it is, Pete. You know. Plainview.
do it or do it. Let's get after them, Pete. have been waiting for it. They want to see the debut of MP. He'll get a chance to show what he can do as they make their home debut. You can feel the electricity in the building. This is it. Opening day. The regular season is set to begin and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And with us from the sidelines tonight, David Aldrin. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Houston. On Friday, they'll defend home court against the Memphis Grizzlies. And then on Saturday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the San Antonio Spurs. And you know, nobody loves playing on the road, but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of games. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. Up and forward, it's Miller and Bridges. LaMelo Ball is out there with Trey Mann, and it's Williams at the center locking down the middle. And for Houston, running the wings, they'll go with Green and Brooks. The post pair form, it'll be Smith and Shengun. And it's Van Vliet in at the point. Well, the start of NP's NBA journey begins now. These are the first minutes for the first round pick. And I have high hopes for MP over the course of his career. This is a long season, Kevin. It's about sustaining a oh, high MP. level of play you got this. consistent. So we've got a report from the sideline. Let's get the scoop on MP. Hey guys, a lot of excitement in the air as MP makes his NBA debut tonight. I asked him how he felt about his journey here, and he told me it hasn't been easy. 
had to grow a lot as a person and as a player, but I'm ready to keep putting in the work and fight my way to the top. It's just the beginning of what could be a fantastic career. Guys? Gosh, I love that kid. Hey, David, you can tell this organization expects big things from MP. Here's Micic. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Richards. Got it. Good job in the low post. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Thompson outside. In the corner, Shengun with it. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. shingun has got his third bucket of the night. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. And so it's Houston, up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. to have you with us folks second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Rockets they've really been dialed in from deep this is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability also uh, they're getting into the teeth of the defense points in the paint something coaches always love to see so on the floor for Charlotte to start this second quarter We've got Nick Richards. Josh Green is up there with Grant Williams. Then it's Ball, and it's Michich in at the point. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. You know, Greg, one thing you notice, and we're just talking about this with the Hornets in recent years, a lot of changing lineups. And you expect that with the team, with where they're at. They're looking for any advantage game to game and trying to build that identity as a franchise. Ball, the pass to Micic. Not happening with that shot. He's put up five and made two. And Thompson kicks to MP. Down low, Shingu. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. Shingun's got eight points. How about the vision from MP? In the pick and roll, that's very encouraging to see. Here's Micic, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Got it in close, and unless it's an open three, that's the key to efficient offense. Rockets leading by 14. Thompson passes to MP, and the dunk by MP. This young kid's got some ups. MP throwing it down. And timeout is called by Charles Lee. Wants to regroup and go over the strategy. And RJ, even without a consistent jumper, Amon Thompson has proven to be a productive player. And that jumper should develop over time. But he does everything else at a high level. He's extremely versatile, especially on that defensive end, Kevin. Dylan Brooks, he's checked in for Whitmore, and it's Fred Van Vliet in for MP. The Hornets also changing it up. Stop this, MP. Williams. Pass to Mijic. Miller outside. Here's Bridges. And the Hornets miss again. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets from deep. Brooks. Bridges with the board. 
Bridges has got his fourth rebound in this one. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Here's Micic. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Van Dale's checked in for Steven Adler. The Hornets also with the sub. Green is checked in for Micic. Rockets leading by five. MV deciding where to go with it. Pass to Van Vliet. Back to MP. One forty-three left in the first half of basketball. Just five to shoot. Here's Green. The Hornets pull it in. Williams has got rebound number eight now on the night. Bridges outside. Now, man. Three-pointer. Barry's the long-range jumper. Mann's got his second basket of the night. Guys, it's ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is so dribble. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. To the inside. Bridges oh, with the steal. And now the fast break. Bridges with the ball. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Just a high-energy player. But Bridges brings the aggression every possession. Van Vliet outside. There's 47 seconds left here in the second. Fades and shoots. That one wide left. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. They've got the Hawks ahead of them in their next game. And it's in Atlanta. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Williams has a screen for Bridges. Over Brooks. There's Williams. And it's Williams with the jam. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. He's just giving them everything he has. It's what his teammates appreciate and enjoy playing with them. Van Vliet outside. Here's MP. And no good on the last second attempt this time. So that'll be it for the first half. A fairly even battle underway in this one. Hornets lead by two. And we'll be back right after this. Welcome, folks. It's halftime, and the Charlotte Hornets are in the midst of a very close game. I know my partner here appreciates the brute force, especially on the glass. Right, Jack? And they're in a good spot because of it. They've shown great toughness, and they've been very quick to the ball. Taking a peek now at the upcoming schedule. Taking a look here at the Rockets, you really get to see what they're made of after your hard work in the offseason. Yeah, you have big changes, and then you have subtle changes. Everything in preparation for this moment. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has a second half call. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Man, we're seeing a tremendous game from LaMelo Ball. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And it's a role we don't always see him in, but he's done a great job tonight getting the rest of his team involved. The post pair form, it'll be Smith and Jengler. 
And in the ring, they'll go with Green and Brooks. And it's Van Vliet in at the point guard. And that's the group in there for Ime Udoka. can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. If you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team, that is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Smith, the pass to MP. There's the triple. MP drills the three. MP is a full customer from three. Great form from the up-and-coming player the ball shoots the three it's good from long range balls got five points now this quarter and an eye for an eye both teams working to stretch the floor this is today's nba hey we see this kind of exchange more often than not jen goon with this screen on green count it green's got 10 points here in the second half this shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Ball, the pass to man. Driving inside. And he slams it one-handed. Fundamentals, guys, using the one-hand slam. Well, he makes the basics look pretty exceptional. Pass to Shengu. To Van Vliet. Shengun with the screen for Van Vliet. It's rebounded by Charlotte. He just looks off this quarter. It looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. Ball from long range. Here's Mann. Three-pointer. Rebound by Smith. One made three. Home for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Van Vliet passes to Shengu. MP outside. And there's the foul. It's on Miles Bridges. That's foul number two for him. And the Rockets making a change here. Thompson's checked in. The Hornets also changing it up. Nick Richards comes in for Williams. And it's Micic in for ball. And so here is Houston. At one point, they led by 16 inside. Ball stolen. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. And here they go. Man gets the bucket. And he places that pass out in front of him and let it just run into it in rhythm. 29 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. MV kicks to Green. Thompson outside. Shot clock at five, and there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Uh, and, and those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when you are talking about a game down the stretch. Charlotte's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Now, here's Bridges. He's got 21. Over Smith. Ooh, off line. And so is Jalen Green making highlights for Houston. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in score for us. On the court for Charlotte, Green is out there with Williams. Then it's Nick Richards. Then there's LaMelo Ball. And it's Mann in at the two. Houston in the lead. And here is Van Vliet. On 
the wing, MB defended by man. Wow. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. Puts it up off the inbound. That's good from Van Vliet on the assist by Brooks. Van Vliet's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Rockets. To the middle. Here's Mann. Second shot opportunity, and he lays it straight in. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. To the paint. Here's Easton. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Williams gets the bucket. They are just killing him on the interior. And they are really racking up the assists in this one. And their team chemistry is evident. These guys enjoy playing with one another. don't just have young talent. They have elite young talent. Yeah, you can have all the high draft picks in the world. That doesn't mean you're going to hit on the right guys. But Houston, they certainly have. And he knocks down the first one. And so Eason nails both of them. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for the Hornets, trailing by two. Here is Williams. Pass to man. Shot clock at six. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Van Vliet outside. Adams with the screen on ball. Pass to Adams. On the wing, Brooks. And here's MP for three. Another miss by Houston. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And he gets it to go. Ball's got it all tied up now for Charlotte. LaMelo using that body control there, making the play off contact. Eason, the screen. Williams with the steal. Brooks against Green. Pass to Williams. Here's Mann. And Charlotte again with the bucket. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Hornets. Great heads up defensive play tonight, creating offensive opportunities for themselves by forcing deflections. And we also got to highlight how lackluster the opposition has been in terms of boxing out. This team is flat out bullying them on the offensive glass. And so it's Charles Lee calling timeout. He has decided it's the right time to talk.
Ben Goons checked in for Stephen Adams. Jabari Smith comes in for Tari Eason. And it's Green in for MP. And then for Charlotte, Williams is checked in for Nick Richard. And Miller subbed in for Josh Green. Right now, let's send it over to the sidelines and get a... for Williams. And so here is Houston. At one point, they led by 16. Thompson outside. Pass to MP. Takes it inside. Now here's Adams. Out to the wing. Here's Whitmore. They get it back. Fires the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And the Rockets lead by 14. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. So we see Houston taking the W here. Some good competition with the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step to becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity, and, and this is what they came out to do. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. Alongside Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony and our reporter David Alton and the entire 2K sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. So long and good night, everyone. These guys are no joke. This is exactly the kind of game we need to win if we want people to think twice before walking in here like they own the place. I understand. You wanted to make this place a fortress, right? These guys are the barbarians at the gate. Coach, we're just hooping. These guys aren't invincible. We could take them. Enough talk. Time to lock in. All right, you just need to meditate, man. I bet you your blood pressure is through the roof. You know right what? Now. It just... will be if we lose tonight. Now get out there and defend your turf. I got you, coach. Thank you. 
his arm on it.
Friday night, everyone. Time to kick off the weekend with the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson, joined courtside by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. And here's the schedule for the Memphis Grizzlies. On Saturday, they go back home and will be hosting the Orlando Magic. Then on Monday, they'll defend home court against the Chicago Bulls. And looking at the Bucks matchup, it's one that I'm curious about. It'll be their sixth contest of the season for them in a game that should have a lot of great matchups. And here's Memphis's starting group. Manning the backcourt, we'll see Moran and Payne. Senti Aldama out there with Williams. And it's Jackson in at the center position. And for the Rockets, at small forward and power forward, it's Brooks and Smith. Van Fleet and Green, they're manning the backcourt. And it's Shane Goon in at the five, roaming the paint. Well, if you followed MP on his path to the NBA, you know the one criticism of his game is that he can defer too often, Grant. And at times, I think that's been a fair criticism. But you'd rather have him be trying to involve his teammates too much than not at all. Keep Changes. Eason's checked in for Smith. Thompson comes in for Brooks. And MP subbed in for Van Vliet. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Clark is checked in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Laravia comes in for Aldama. Jackson, he's checked in for Williams. And Smart subbed in for Bain. Well, as the saying goes, got to give the people what they want. MP is looking to reward his hometown fans' dedication by putting on a show. And most importantly, bringing home a win. Not just tonight, but he's determined to win a ton here at home. I think it's a really admirable goal to be a truly fearsome home team. Not just because it intimidates your opponents, but because it shows MP's commitment to delivering for these fans. He knows they're here to see their team win big, and so that's what he wants to deliver for them night after night inside this arena. For the latest news on MP, let's hear from Ali LaForce on our sideline. BA, I asked MP how they'd be approaching home games this season, and he said, I told my guys, we have to do better this year, period. When the game is in our house, we owe it to our fans to win it. Guys, I can get the feeling this isn't going to be an easy stop on the road for anyone. No, and MP always working for the people, Ali. <laughs> the way they've gotten at the rebounds has been impressive. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Just flawless timing right there, right? The dish, the catch, the flush, the whole thing was perfect. And it all had to be because that's not nearly as easy as they made it appear. The three from Thompson. Memphis with a rebound. They defeated Utah in their last game. And it wasn't just their starters putting in work. Their backups were real spark plugs on offense. Absolutely, especially on the road when you need those guys off the bench to up the end. Hold oh, the range of Marcus Smart, able to strike from beyond the arc. MP, the pass to Shangu. Pass to Green. Shangun, a screen on Smart. Here's Green from the arc. Clark grabs the board. Smart passes to Clark. Oh, Clark with the slam. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. What if it goes? It's good! It counts at the buzzer! Whoa! The heave to beat the buzzer. That's an impossible shot, man. Even when you don't have the clock to worry about. Mm. Alperon Shingoon, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Houston. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. And don't go far. We'll be right back. If you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Rockets. To me, their physicality has been the thing early on that stood out. They're not settling for one and done. They're following their shots and getting a lot of putbacks. And also, the coaching staff has to love the hustle so far. Just playing with great energy, getting out and converting in transition. On the court for the Grizzlies. 
Moran and Smart make up the backcourt. Brandon Clark out there with Gigi Jackson. And it's Kennard in at the three, the small forward. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. If you look at rebounding rate, Tari Eason is one of the best in the NBA, Clark. Yeah, you think about rate, it basically looks at what percentage of rebounds do you get while you're on the floor. And Eason is prolific in terms of boards per minute. Uses his 6'8 frame well. He's gobbling up rebounds well under one every three minutes. That is, um, that's a lot of heavy lifting there, folks. Here's Clark. Oh, Clark with the slam. Among the best passers in the league, Morant finds open teammates. MP against Morant. Outside Whitmore. The three is up. Sinks the trade. Whitmore's got himself going here. His first point to the game on the deep ball. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You gotta be tougher defensively. Moran, he hits the back iron and sinks it. Defensively, they've gotta get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Inside. Grizzlies with the rebound. Smart, looking around. Pass to Moran. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. And the shot goes in. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. And we've got a timeout called by Ime Udoka. He's going to talk it over with his guys. Back in last season, the team leaders in rebounding. The fourth spot held by the Rockets. Their effort on the boards was a point of pride for them. They play a physical style, and it served them well. And so MP will bring it up for the Rockets. They've led by as much as 10. Pass to Shangun. Outside Eason. Back to Thompson. To the inside. Here's Brooks. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. What a throwdown by Brooks there. Always looking to establish some force and dominance with this play. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Now here's Moran. 27 points his last game. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. He's been just a little off the mark tonight. Really the story of the game so far. MP to pass to Shingo. Clark grabs the board. Clark's got four rebounds in the game. Morant with it. Smart outside. Jackson outside. Clock at six. Here's Moran outside. Eason pulls it in. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. Pass to Thompson. Shangun, the screen. Out of bounds. It'll be Memphis's goal. Grant after three straight drafts high in the lottery. The Rockets got to 500 in 2024. Yeah, and I love how they signed some vets in the summer of 23. Houston decided we want to win now, and I wish more teams did that. Green's checked in for Houston. Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. Williams comes in for Kennard. MP against Moran. Another miss. Two for nine so far. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. And it's Brooks missing. Grizzlies trail by three. Outside, Williams. 
Smart outside. Three pointer. And Smart nails the triple. You know, pretty much anybody can hit that shot when they're that wide open. I mean, terrible defense. Mm, here's Green. We saw him with 29 points in his last game. Shangun, a screen on Moran. MP, the pass to Shangun. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Shangun's got 16 points. His shooting has been fantastic, and this team has leaned on him. Smart outside. Jackson outside. Moran with a screen on Shangun. Here's Jackson. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. I love the strength shown by Jackson there. Refusing to let the defense have the last word. And here's MP. MP throws it down off the drive. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, VA. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score of this tight, you cannot take a chance here. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Fires from 14. And it's Morant missing. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. He just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Shangun, a screen on Moran. Here's MP. MP right through him. He had no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't have And we've got a timeout from Taylor Jenkins. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. All right, guys, we're lucky to have Shyam Sharania joining us now. Our 2K insider calling in with a story. What do you got, Shams? Thanks. Many consider this summer to be the most challenging field in the history of international basketball. Nevertheless, Team USA got it done in Paris. It's not getting any easier, but the star power of the U.S. men's team shines bright in the city of lights. Guys, a classic ending for a stacked U.S. roster. What a performance. Shams Sharania with the report. Thanks, Shams. Oh, boy.
Ooh. Dang, I messed up, Stephen Adams. I saw you, bro. Oh, you missed that, bro. He got that. That was nice. That was dope. Mm.
Oh, give me, yeah, a file. Miss both of them. Mm, that was a nice little, that was a nice little play. Oh, John. Can't we get that rebound?
but Can I get a rebound? Guess not. I had a pick for you, bro. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Mm. Okay. I got a large job in. Oh, buddy, missed that. Bro, he ran right into me. You got that. D, nice defense. shot
Did we lose? How? How did we lose? What? We got four tickets. Hold on, let me start the stream over, man, because I can't hear nothing at all. Let me start this over because I can't hear nothing at all. <laughs> 